Hello YouTube, long time no see. I have been just living life lately and I still wanna make videos, but I haven't been doing it much. So um, I have tried recording things a few times and like day in the life or whatever, vlogs and um, just like little vlogs throughout the week or whatever, but it hasn't happened. So I'm gonna keep trying that because I, I do appreciate, like, I like watching day in the life videos. I think it's interesting to see like other people with young children. So um, I do think it would be fun to do that. So I will try, but so far, I tend to record um, for the first half of the day or like just little clippets in the middle of the day and then like nothing, I don't know, later on for like four days. So um, yeah, but hi, <laughs> my name is Allison K. Welcome to my channel. If this is the first video you've ever found here, um, that would be very random, but you never know. So, um, or just if you haven't, whatever. So my name is Allison K. I just turned 25 yesterday. I have a German short haired pointer, Sadie was here with me and looking out the window um there we go I've been married for five years I have a almost one year old son so that's one thing I thought I'd just chat about a little bit is that John my son is almost one year old um last year I did a bunch of pregnancy updates and gender reveal and all that stuff so um I even got my husband Luke to be in a video with me doing like a you know old wives tale kind of thing he's kind of helping me out with that we didn't do any like the cabbage tests or whatever but we did do, um, I just was thinking how crazy that sounds. If you've never watched like gender prediction stuff, you're probably like, what do you mean cabbage? Like what? Um, but yeah, we did like just some of the kind of sit there and say yes or no to it kind of thing together. So, um, but that was fun. So anyway, we, yeah, we've been raising our little son and he is so big. He has seven teeth now, which is crazy and he is super tall like if he were standing on the ground here with me he would be like at my height like my head like he's pretty much as tall like that tall now almost about I don't know he's probably pretty close to that um he's a big boy uh he'll have an appointment here in like a month or so I think but the last time we took him to the doctor a few months ago he was in like the 90 90th to 97th percentile for head size height and weight overall BMI all that stuff he was like between 90 and 100 percent <laughs> percentile and all of that so um he tends to be bigger for his age um he hasn't always been that way he was in like the 70th percentile for a while but now he's in like the 90th so anyway he's just been growing and growing he doesn't love that many like he likes food but he doesn't love love everything um so that's kind of a challenge <laughs> feeding him um not because of that even, but even things he likes, he doesn't always just eat that well. So I'm interested to see over the next four, five, six months um, how that goes when he's drinking less milk and eating more food. If he will, um, I don't know, how his body will do. But yeah, so um, that's something we'll be talking to the doctor about at his next appointment. It's just like the whole weaning process. And I understand and I know that a lot of babies drink milk for a long time. Um, we don't really, so that's kind of a general John update. He's not quite walking yet. He is, um, cruising like crazy though. He'll walk with assistance. So he's really good with that. Um, but as far as like breastfeeding and all that stuff goes, I have almost exclusively pumped. I've pumped and done some breastfeeding for his whole first year here, um, with very little formula supplementation, especially since the first like month after about one month. We stopped supplementing with formula and my milk supply was enough and I was able to trust that it was enough nutritionally. Um, I just was so clueless getting into breastfeeding. And so, um, yeah, after about a month, we stopped supplementing with formula. I have supplemented with formula recently, like once, and we might have to a little bit here into the future, but literally he is, um, not this coming Thursday from when I'm filming this, but the next one. So like he has like a week and a half left until he's one year old. And then they say nutritionally that they don't need that milk to be their number one source of nutrients. That food is then the number one source of nutrients. But I do plan on still giving him breast milk. Um, I make about 30 ounces a day, 32, 33, and he drinks about 36 ounces a day. So we're just shy. So that's why um, I've been using a freezer supply. I had a little bit there and we're down to like two or three bags. And I use a bag every like two or three days. So it's going to be so close there within like if we're going to make it or not to needing to supplement with formula for a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I need to talk to the doctor about switching over, like starting to wean a, like, or just like 
how much milk he needs, whatever, that whole thing. I'm going to talk to her about that, but um, I do plan on continuing to pump for a little bit longer as he does wean and whatever, and I do breastfeed him sometimes still, um, not very much, but that is still a thing. I think eventually I'll get to just breastfeeding him and not pumping at all, um, but just breastfeeding him a little bit here and there whenever he wants to, so that's kind of that whole shebang, um, that whole scenario, and um, my hands, if you remember, if you watched my videos last year, I talked a little bit about how dry they were. They've been fine all spring and summer, and now they're starting to get pink again and get really irritated and dry, so I need to keep an eye on that. I don't know if it's psoriasis or eczema or what. I also should talk to my doctor about that. <laughs> um, I have the same doctor as John. We go to the same person, so um, maybe I'll just talk at his appointment. I'll be like, wait, can you look at my hands too? Um, but yeah, so that's like his health, my health. Um... A little bit of develop, developmental stuff for him. I am planning his birthday party. That is going to be next weekend. And we're doing a little like pumpkin patch theme. And I'm really excited. It'll just be a very small family party um, with pizza and salad and donuts and cider. And I'm just very excited to celebrate his little life and um, his little person that he is. He is so sweet and funny and feisty. And I love him so much. So that is, I feel like I thought I would talk forever, but it's, I mean, six minutes is decent, but that's about it. Um, I don't know what else to say right now. <laughs> I just had a birthday. So, um, yesterday I was at my friend's wedding, uh, during my birthday and the reception. And that was really fun to see her and celebrate her and her husband. And also just to, um, yeah, be with friends and family. So, um, I'm trying to think, I got some stuff for my birthday. I got a couple of books. Um, I will just show you guys real quick. I haven't read them yet. I don't know how they are, but they're like romance novel kind of things. Um, like not super like steamy, just like cheesy. Um, While We Were Dating by Jasmine Guillory. And then this is it without the duster on it. And then, um, So We Meet Again by Suzanne Park. So I'm excited to read these at some point in life. Um, but something that's easier for me to do is in my spare time, just like a little quick thing, is this Stars Hollow um, adult coloring and activity book inspired by Gilmore Girls. So I got it on Amazon, super cheap, but there are like coloring pages, there are, um, let me find them, hang on, uno momento, word searches, and other little activities like that, crossword puzzles, um, you can make little bookmarks, it's kind of cheesy, but it's kind of fun too, and so... Um, yeah, that's a few things that I got. I also got this really nice Dutch oven, which is really cool. Um, I went shopping with my friend. Oh, I got a little blazer jacket that I love. Um, I'll show you that. It's right here. Okay. It's by Lauren Conrad. You can get it at Kohl's. I can link it down below. I love it so much. I actually wore it with the tag salon yesterday. I'm such a dork. I didn't even, I was just like in a hurry and didn't even take it off and ran out the door that way. And it stayed that way. Um, but I got this candle at TJ Maxx to recently... It is um, mountain cedar, and it smells delicious. It smells like Christmas. It was $12.99. So, oh, John's up from his nap, so I'm going to go now. Um, thanks if you watch this. If you want to see more videos, I will be posting them soon, hopefully. Hopefully, I'll do it day in the life or week in the life kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go get my son now. He is sitting up. So, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless, and I will see you guys later. Bye.